Coach Paul Ballard, after a 3-0 loss to the uh, Laval Rouge Or, the number four ranked Laval Rouge Or on uh, Friday night at homecoming. Game was a lot closer than the uh, score indicated, Coach. Um, two quick goals after, right after the break. Uh, what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> you know, one minute, if you could uh, take that minute away, if we could have a redo, I mean, it would be it would be a different game, and it, it's it's the unfortunate reality, and it it just seems that that one minute seems to be what sums up our season right now. It's uh, the slight mental lapse, um, yeah, and and good teams expose that. Um, our first half was incredible. It was everything we had planned. It was everything that we wanted it to be. Um, it caused we caused them to change their system, um, and uh, we. You know, we really believed we could go into the second half and do the same thing, um, but that's the way the game goes. Um, I, I really believe that as much as it doesn't show, we are we are learning, we are growing, um, we are getting better. Uh, our stats show that uh, we we celebrate after the game uh, milestones, and tonight we celebrated. Um, significant milestones that we achieved in the match and we also celebrated improvements so if we take how we did in our first match against Laval to now um, you know in our, our ability to win second balls 50-50 balls um, you know connecting three creating goal scoring opportunities it's all happening it, it's there um, we know we're close and we just got to keep believing in the process. We had uh, Danny DeRoche in net tonight and uh, I think we had about five or six highlights of uh, her making saves in the first half. Talk a little bit about her play. Yeah, the challenge that we put before Danny was um, come in and keep us in the game. You know, we didn't ask her to, to to win the game, to steal the game. We said, Danny, keep us in it, keep us alive, keep us believing, and uh, she did that and more. She was um, incredible. She made great saves, um, but she was calm. Uh, she kept us. She kept us alive. She was communicating. Um, you know, she did everything that she needed to do, and um, I think she has a lot to be proud of. And um, the team rallied behind her. Um, we, they really did in that first half. Quick turnaround. Now you play Monday night against uh, Sherbrooke. What are you doing that uh, in the two days uh, leading into that game? Yeah, I mean tomorrow we'll we'll recover and I'll let the girls. Um, you know, we'll get on the bikes and we'll stretch and. Um, just do you know do our mental check-ins, uh, and then we'll we'll get back on the field on Sunday and and look at the film and 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 be ready. We can't um, take any time off here. You know we can't um, wallow in our in our disappointments. We have to get ready and get focused. Um, we have you know Sherbrooke Monday and then another quick turnaround and we have UCAM on Thursday. So. You know, the, our mindset is, is we want to go into that Thanksgiving break, um, you know, on, a, on the most positive point of the season. Uh, so as a coaching staff, we have to, um, we can't stop. We can't put our head down. We got to keep looking and, and, and trying to find the, the new way forward. And the girls, you know, I, they'll, they'll feed off of our energy and, and the way in which we can find uh, good things. Thanks very much, Coach. Good luck. Thank you very much.